done it to you. Very Scottish. Very Scottish. Right, this is what you clicked here for. This is an update on how May has gone because I played a lot of tournaments in May, but let the cars pass. I didn't vlog any of them because they're all local. One was in Dunfermline and all the rest were here at the old course in St. Andrews. So we're gonna run you through how all of those went and keep you in the loop. This is how May has gone. Okay, so the first tournament of May was the five team championship at Pitfarin, Pitfarin, wherever it is, Dunfermline Golf Club. We played well, this one was really satisfying. because we didn't have a practice round. We actually came up from Devon, went straight through to Dunfermline. We didn't play the course. We'd never seen it before. We just had, had a walk. We just walked it. And then, and I was proud of this one because in walking it, I devised a game plan and I stuck to it. There was no yardage book, so I really had to keep all the details in my head and just use the back of a card, which had a map on it. And we started off steady, felt pretty comfortable in the day. We birdied the third hole to go one under. Treble bogeyed the fourth, which was disgusting. Lots of short game shots were hit on there, lots of flub chips and bunker shots, and that was not fun. So that was a tough start to the day, and I felt pretty tired at the end of this. That's a bust. But I just resolved to stick to the game plan, and then I birdied nine and 10, stay patient, then birdied 14 and 15. It ended up coming in with a, what does that add up to? So I was three over through eight holes and ended up coming in one under 71, which I was really pleased with. I actually came fourth in the individual, which I was delighted with. Best score of the new club boys on the day. We came sixth as a team, which isn't bad. It's not great. We came fourth last year, so it's about half the course. Pardon the fun. And that was a solid start to May. We kept the form going from Devon. Yeah, kept the form going from Devon. And this was on a different course. This was a tricky parking course, different greens, and we still managed to do okay. So our next tournament after the five team championship was the RNA Local Club's gold medal, where the winner gets a spot in the prestigious St. Andrews Lynx Trophy. We ended up coming second in this one, which was very exciting. Potentially one of my best results ever, certainly on a stroke play event. We shot 70 in the morning, which was a great comeback, so I was two over through eight after a stupid double at the eighth hole in the old course. And we made four birdies in five holes, which helps your recovery. Made the cut, the cut was level par. 12 people made it out of 60 competitors. So in the afternoon, that put me second last group out. Had a chance to win it. The leaders in the morning shot five under. I was two under, so I was only three back. In the afternoon, I put together with my friend Andy on a bag, shout out Andy Stan. Uh, I put together a five under par 67 which went just like this on the scorecard and it was really exciting I had a chance to win and I lost by one uh, I thought there was a chance for the playoff having posted seven under for the tournament I went into the Forgan house uh, just behind us or oh, where is it stair the white building went into there went into the bathroom to compose myself because I thought this could be a playoff hole going up the first to the old course again he made a part of the last very steady he got a spot in the Lynx trophy and I came second and I got a bottle of whiskey so it's not that bad so in amongst all of this as well in April and May I was playing county games which was exciting getting picked for the eight man singles teams playing in the province Alva against Angus and Clackmanshire and Perth and Kinross in May third week of May just after gold medal we needed to beat Perth and Kinross six and a half to one and a half to win the province Alva very Scottish. Very Scottish. But we needed to win six and a half, one and a half to win the province out of away at Ailith Golf Club. We won 7 1. We won 7 1, which was sick. I won my game. I won actually all my games in the province out of one at Angus, one at Clackman and Shear, and then one at Ailith, which was cool. I wore a woolly hat. My opponent wore shorts. That just shows what kind of spring weather we get up here and how it can be subjective. Yeah, so it's good to mix up with the county boys again. And then unfortunately, the May update ends. Uh, well, this is the scene of my demise. It was the club championship for the new golf club, St. Andrews. Best I've ever done in this event in about five or six times playing, it was the quarterfinals. There's a lot of great players at the new club. But I was on a charge this week, qualified third. I shot one under par on the new, two under par on the Eden. Had my bad caddy at the end of the Eden, which was very nice. He was up to help me move, so I was moving house the week of the club championship as well. And the way it works is two rounds qualifying stroke play on a Sunday. And then the match played Monday through to Friday, essentially, last 16. 16 qualifier out of 45. And then it gets played down to a final. So I was moving house during the day, playing my games during the evening, and we won the last 16, four and three. We won the quarter final, four and three. We won the semi final, four and three. We get to the final against our scratch convener, Jim, who's an absolute legend, and I lose two and one on the 17th green, the road hole at the old course behind me. All the match plays are on the old course, and what a special week to have my dad caddying. Really fun, 
played really well in that semi-final. I tore it up. I mean, I tore it up in all the games, to be fair. I think I was 300 in the first game, through 15, 200 in the second game. Then I was 800 in the semi-final. Absolutely vibing. And maybe I just used up all my good golf too soon. Maybe I was a bit tired. You know, we can make all the excuses. I lost in the final. And it was very disappointing because I could have been on the club honours board forever, eternally remembered by the people of St Andrews. But as it is, you come second, which is first loser. And yeah, we're going to have to try and do one better next year. But it was a great fun week. Lots of stuff to be learnt from it. Blah, blah, blah. Insert cliche stuff about improving as a person and as a golfer here. But as it is, it was a successful week because I moved house. And now it's the beginning of June as I speak. Caddying in the St Andrews Lynx Trophy for my boy Aaron. And then we'll be caddying in the British Amateur down at Hillside and Southport and Ainsdale. Lots of fun things coming up. My next golf is going to be open qualifying at the end of June. Hopefully that's regional and final qualifying. And we'll see how that goes. So that vlog is to come. This has been a May update. See you when I see you.